It's generally accepted that tigers are dangerous animals that shouldn't be trifled with. They're predators after all, and even though they won't go out of their way to attack humans, they can easily tear someone to shreds. But just try and tell Arias Borges that. Arias, a resident of Moringa, Brazil, is a huge fan of tigers. It all started back in 2005 when he rescued two tigers from a circus where they were supposedly being horribly abused. Many circuses have a controversial history with animals, so in many ways, Arias truly saved their lives. Over the years, he rescued more tigers and he ultimately made room for seven of them on his property. That was only part of the story, however. Although Arias built a large enclosure for the tigers in the backyard of his home, he soon started allowing enormous and dangerous big cats inside his house and around his family. Despite the dangers, this never alarmed Arias' three daughters, Diusanria, Yara, and Nayara, who were all in their 20s. They became accustomed to living with the tigers from their very first day that their father welcomed these exotic pets. In fact, despite what they say is negligent and risky, Arias trusts the tigers to get along with his entire family, including his young granddaughters. I was never worried about my daughters coexisting with these animals, Arias said. For Arias, having a good relationship with tigers, like any other animal, all come down to one simple principle. You have to show the animals respect and love, he said. That's how you get it back from them. Indeed, not only did this family keep tigers in their home, much in the same way that other people would care for dogs and cats, but they didn't seem to show any fear whatsoever. That's not to say that the Borges family wasn't taking huge risks every day for the sake of owning such exotic pets. Tigers are not domesticated, and therefore they're difficult to predict, even with humans who trust them. Even though most experts and just about everyone with any common sense for that matter thought that this lifestyle was extremely ill-advised, the family has managed to ignore most of the criticism so far. For instance, Yara fully supported her family's decision to keep the tigers. After all, she had a special relationship with them since she was very young, doing many of the activities that any other pet owner with far more conventional pets, just on a much larger scale. For her part, Yara believed love and attention were key. Ever since the tigers were born, we have taken care of them, feeding them, so their instincts become dormant, she said of the tiger's relatively docile nature. Nayara, who was Arya's youngest daughter, also had a unique relationship with the animals, especially with one tiger in particular named Tom. I get in the pool and swim with Tom three times a week to keep his training, she explained. Not everyone was thrilled with Arya's choice of pets, however. Raphael, Yara's husband, quite understandably feared the animals, not just for his own safety, but for that of his children. Raphael wasn't shy about expressing his feelings towards his wife's side of the family and their choice of pets. I think her interaction with the animals is dangerous, he explained in an interview. Yara felt differently, however, and she continued to allow their children to play with the tigers, even though Raphael expressed his wishes for her to be a little more distant from them. Despite the criticism, Arias had no plans to end his special relationship with the tigers anytime soon. In fact, he intended to open a 40-acre park in his hometown of Moringa just for the big cats to run around freely. Even with that ambitious plan in place, Arias remained committed to the tigers that he considered part of his family. For us, it's natural to have them around all the time, you know? Arias believed that the current relationship he had with his tigers was altruistic in nature. We believe the work we're doing to help the animals is a noble cause, he said. It will happen unless God doesn't want it to. Whether you think the Borges family's relationship with tigers is absolutely adorable or horrifyingly irresponsible, it's difficult to look away from this unique family when you see them alongside their usual pets. The Borges family seems like they've been okay for quite some time, so hopefully they'll continue to be careful. When it comes to wild animals, safety must always be a priority. Share this family's stories with your friends below.